All right, how we doing today? So I made a post the other day about kind of parents getting worried that um, a lot of parents don't let their kids train because they're afraid of injury or they don't want them to play a certain sport because they're afraid of them getting injured. And is that a valid concern? Sure, why not? You can, but I mean, kids are going to get hurt. You're going to get hurt. If you do things dangerous, training is dangerous. Uh, sports are dangerous. But not allowing your kids to do these things because of a fear of injury is kind of stupid. Uh, kids can get hurt. Again, adults can get hurt walking down the street, taking a step off the stairs. Uh, I think it's more dangerous to not train, to not play sports. Um, the danger of getting fat and out of shape and all the risks that come with becoming obese. And we got a huge obesity problem uh, in the world today. And that is far more dangerous than breaking an ankle or breaking a arm or something, whatever, in the sport or tearing a muscle. Um, yes, our goal is not to get injured. No one wants to get injured. But if you play sports, you train long enough, you do a lot of things, train hard enough, you do dangerous things, you're eventually going to get hurt, you're going to get injured. That's just a part of it. You can't. There's no such thing as injury prevention. Um, it doesn't exist. Yes, we can um, minimize the risks of soft muscle tears and stuff like that. Um, maybe some tendon and ligament damage, stuff like that. But again, playing sports is super dangerous. Uh, training is can be dangerous. But again, having your kids in a training environment with a good coach who has a good program and a good foundation and knows how to coach and work with kids, especially with lifting weights and sprinting and doing athletic training. That is more controlled, more um, safer than even playing sports. Uh, Cause a lot of times sports are, are react reactionary and things happen and you don't know football you're playing and someone comes out of nowhere and hits you and then rolls up on the back of your leg and you can't really control that. Whereas in actual training, Lifting and stuff like that, you have a lot more control. Yes, heavy weights can get you injured. Um, it's it's just people can tell you all the all the stuff you want to hear, like oh that's just perfectly safe and you're never gonna get hurt and oh little Billy's gonna be fine and and never trip over a weight or drop a weight on his toe or um, have a barbell fall on him or whatever it is. As coaches, yes, we good coaches anyway, do a good job of not allowing this stuff to happen. But there is that risk of it happening. You can always tweak a back muscle or a hamstring or whatever it is, tweak something, a knee doesn't feel right, or a shoulder or something on a bench press, whatever it is, things happen. There is no denying that. Uh, I'm here to tell you the truth and give you the honest opinion. But it's the, it's the parents who don't allow their kids to train because they're fear of injury or don't train themselves because they're afraid to get hurt. Um, but then they let themselves get fat and out of shape and can't even walk up the stairs. And then they trip going up the stairs and, and fall with all that extra weight coming down. And then, oh, so training wasn't dangerous, but your heart health isn't uh, when you're 100 pounds overweight or you have no cardiovascular strength or endurance. Uh, and all these other diseases are just looking at you, winking in the eye saying, I'm coming to get you. I'm um, not saying that stuff can't happen if you train and, and play sports, but it's less likely to happen. You let, you're more likely to be healthier inside and outside uh, with this stuff. And a lot of times uh, it's the athletes too or uh, adults who are looking to train and stuff. They're, they're, they're afraid to do anything, try anything new or challenge themselves because they they're afraid of getting injured, and you see all these see a lot of posts these days. Um, I think it was Atlas. I can't even think of what his name is right now. Atlas Strong. He's big jack dude. Does all these sweet, um, crazy like old school lifts, like one arm deadlifts and zerchers and Jefferson curls and stuff like that. And he made a post about it, and I thought it was great. Kind of talking about like these trainers who glorify never being injured, and um, that probably just means you're not training hard. You're not pushing yourself. You're not um, challenging your body. Because if you are challenging your body, you're doing cool stuff. You're training. You're trying different lifts. You're doing 
zerchers or whatever deadlifts or heavy heavy lifting and maybe not even heavy lifting, maybe just moving fast or jumping or dropping off things or climbing or whatever it is tumbling rolling cartwheels um you're gonna get hurt and that's totally fine myself i have broken two toes in the last not calendar year but overall like a year so last summer i broke my little toe uh and I don't know what, probably five weeks ago now, I broke my big toe and it's still, and you realize the little toe is just kind of a weight. I mean, that didn't bother, the only thing that bothered that was the shoe being put on um, because it was just like the little size of a little grape. Um, but I was fine. I was able to play baseball. Like I missed one game, I think, because of a little, little grape looking thing and I couldn't put a shoe on. Um, but then I was, I mean, it still hurt, but it didn't wasn't as bad. Big toe, I went to do that. You kind of know it, like, for the first couple of weeks, I was not able... I can't curl it still. Um, I, it feels a lot better bending back, extension. Um, but curling it, just still, it's that first knuckle there that I think is the broken part. I I, maybe it's not broken, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. I didn't, didn't go to a doctor because what are they going to do? Um, um, but, but, yeah, I'm able to do a lot of things. But you realize that you can get hurt. I got hurt doing a hide-in is on my when the one i broke my little toe a hide-in skater side to side jump i did that on a little bit slick um the grass was a little dewy in the morning wet and slipped and it just bent the wrong way and then my big toe i was hopping in socks on a track and the side of the track was like a slick smoother surface and i hit that and slid and slipped and went flying and into um some boxes and bleachers that were on the on the side and jammed it up and it was all, all purple and black and blue and couldn't move it for a little while, but that stuff happens. You get hurt. Playing baseball, I've had broken face. I've broke um, thumb, wrist, dislocated left shoulder in football, um, torn hamstrings. So you get hurt. You can't prevent that. And, and fearing that, that's when you get, if you're playing a sport or doing training, you get timid and that's when you actually you're more likely to get hurt is when you're you're afraid to get hurt and it's it's a big thing to to overcome this it can be tough more so i think it's more of a mental mental battle and then when you're coming once you get injured it's that comeback uh and being afraid to do that same thing so uh, three years in a row i believe it was i tore my hamstring two right i think and one left literally just that last one i was fat i was out of shape i i drank and party all the time didn't sleep ate garbage um so that's probably a big thing of why it happened uh also i lifted like a, a power lifter bodybuilder i didn't lift like how i am now and actually moving my body and being a, a, a not a robot um so i think all that had a factor into it but it was just basically sprinting down the first baseline and put pop you hear, you feel it tear and it's not a good feeling um but then it's like when you're trying to come back from those injuries it's that mental game am i going to be able to do it again and you kind of fear oh can i go full speed again in the sprint can i um bend my wrist in that way can is my toe going to allow me to get full extension on a jump or is it going to hurt when i land or whatever it is it's that mental game that you're playing with yourself after you get injured and that holds you back from again going in and i think the biggest thing to overcoming these is to get into these um get do what happened kind of i made a post one time about returning to the scene of the crime when i strained a peck um drop catch bench pressing um so that's where you drop it and actually catch it down on the bottom and push it back up and i've done that once on that i've done both pecs strained them nothing too bad but you can feel it and it, you have to go back and put yourself not just dwell on oh how did i get injured or why did this happen to me you have to put yourself back return to that seat of, scene of the crime so to speak and get back into it and, and challenge your body and put your body to get over that mental hurdle and be able to do it again and, and build back up so why was my pec weak or why are my hamstrings um, I was tearing or why uh, sometimes it's just freak accidents like when I 
baseball and I blocked the ball and it just hit the thumb and broke my thumb um, or slip and fall and break my toe. Um, why did that happen? Probably because I was wearing socks and there was a slippery floor. Um, so if I was doing it barefoot or if I was doing it shoes, I'd probably have been fine. Um, so that's totally different. But again, it's once that injury happens, it's getting back to the scene and, and doing that and overcoming that mostly mental hurdle of doing the thing that you got injured doing in the first place. And sometimes it's if it's a muscle or something like that or a back injury or something like that, you can challenge yourself and, and maybe it's going at a faster velocity to strengthen that area or doing more isolated work on that area, hamstring or back or whatever it might be to strengthen and improve that area and get it better faster uh, so it doesn't happen again. But but just overall being afraid of getting injured is not is is not a reason to to not play sports or to not um, to not train and exercise and push yourself and challenge yourself again all these people who glorify oh, I've trained for 15 years and never been injured in the gym or whatever or, that's because you're not doing anything you're probably just doing some bicep curls some tricep push down some basic movements and not challenging yourself and not pushing yourself and not doing different other things. That's you, that's you. Cool, whatever. Do your thing. But um, don't go bragging about all this this nonsense of how you've, you're glorifying not being injured and no pain because you're probably not doing anything challenging. Um, without pain, there is no progress. Yes, we're not training to get hurt. We're not training to be sore and be injured all the time but that stuff can happen it, that's just being realistic if you're if you're someone like me who likes to do athletic stuff you like to sprint and jump and throw and crawl and hop and skip and and roll and do different things things you suck at trying to do flips and um, cartwheels and and stuff like that you can get hurt so what F- figure out what happened move on and get better and work at it and don't be afraid and like all these parent, like parents, <laughs> the, me, the meme I posted was of I don't I can never remember who's keen, who's peeled, but one of them were there. They're in the, the kitchen. They're just sweating, that worried look, and that's the parents worried that their kids are gonna get hurt doing every little thing. But then I had the picture or the video of Darby Allen from the last weekend from his match with Sting, or his match, yeah, him and Sting, him and Sting's tag team match against the Young Bucks, Sting's last match. Where Darby jumped off, uh, I don't know, a ladder that was in the ring. So this is probably 25 feet high, something like that. Onto a plate of glass that was held up by four or five chairs onto the floor. So this guy jumped (laughs) that high, did a front back, front flip, landed on his back right through a sheet of glass. Um, Yeah, sure, it's probably not, it's there, whatever sugar glass or whatever they call it. Um, But it's still a long fall, landing a flat back on some chairs, on some glass, on on a concrete floor with a little little bit of padding. And your kids are doing this every day at recess. I've been out to recess with kids, and you see them jumping off the top of the slide. You see them jumping off the monkey bars. You see them flipping and falling on their backs, on their heads, stuff like that. And they get up and bounce right back. Kids are resilient. Uh, So... Training is no more dangerous. Uh, sports are no more dangerous than what your kids are doing every day at recess. Uh, it's just in a more controlled environment, uh, especially with the training. Um, again, in practice, probably more controlled, whereas on the field, on the court, is going to be a little less less controlled. But again, you, if you're a parent, you shouldn't fear your kids uh, getting hurt. Um, know that they are going to get hurt. Um be prepared for it when they do so you can help them bounce back and get back and get over that hurdle of um, getting back. And if you are a person who's wanting to get in shape, don't be afraid of getting hurt when you're training or uh, babying yourself because you might get injured doing something. Push yourself, challenging yourself. That's what it's all about um, because that's what, again, you learn. You learn to overcome adversity and learn how your body works and moves and how to challenge yourself and what works, what doesn't work. What is actually gonna? What is useful? What's not useful? So, again, don't fear injury. Injuries can happen. 
especially if you do dangerous things, the only way to not get injured is to, I guess, just sit on the couch and be a, a lazy turd all the time. But again, there's even, that's probably more dangerous because you're going to get all the health risks that come along with that sedentary lifestyle. So be active. Don't be afraid of injury. Uh, yes, we don't want to get injured, of course, but that stuff can happen. Um, that's just being real with you. So that's what I have for you today, guys. Hope that helped. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions, and we'll talk again soon. Thanks for watching.